Dil Raba and Ren Jia Lun successfully starred in the costume fairy tale drama The Blue Whisper at the beginning of this year. We found that there are more and more Chinese dramas with such sassy female protagonists and cute but stupid male leads. For example, the innocent male lead played by Cheng Yi in Love and Redemption has also attracted countless fans. And now, we are going to give a list of 9 Chinese dramas with the stupid but cute male leads in each one. Let's dive in. The Blue Whisper Part 2 Who can refuse the cute merman's Ren Jia Lun in The Blue Whisper? His character is definitely the cutest male lead we have ever seen. He is arrogant when he eats, counts pearls in tears, and coaxes when he gets angry. But when he's going to take a bath, he'll be shy. Ren Jia Lun's acting skills are really amazing. All kinds of silly little expressions are very delicate and in place making all fans of the drama fall in love. After being teased by Ji yun -hye, he was so meek and reluctantly picked scales to heal Ji yun -hye. Who does not love such a well-behaved, obedient, simple, and deceitful merman? Ratan Ratan is also about a domineering female lead character with a cute and a little stupid male lead. He even called me obedient little dog. Our male lead is a handsome and talented architect, kind and tender. But after meeting Sito, he becomes the obedient little dog servant of Queen Sito and was called Sito's wallet and walking ATM by the fans of the show. He rents a big villa, drives a luxury car, buys new clothes, and sits in the first-class cabin for Si Tang. He serves Si Tang obediently. The gentle, considerate, kind, and sincere puppy looks super cute. The kidnapping had to be rescued by Sito, so I sat outside in the rain when I was sad. It was so pitiful that it was like taking the heroine script. So cute. <laughs> Love and Redemption The role of Si Feng in Love and Redemption has carried out the stupid and loyal dog to the end. He has chased his daughter-in-law for 10 lives and 10 generations. Si Feng's innocent boy setting is super cute. Every time Suan Ji makes him feel overwhelmed and in a hurry, Suan Ji licks his fingers picks up clothes, and hugs him in various ways. His flustered eyes sway from side to side, and he is at the mercy of Suan Ji like a little girl. Can't help but tease, the physique is too cute. The funniest thing is that Si Fang originally wanted to show the domineering power of a man and wanted to kiss Suan Ji on his own initiative. But he was too nervous to kiss him, and then Suan Ji kissed back. Begin Again Gong Jun's super cute little puppy in Begin Again also makes people fall into the trap. In the play, Ling Rui is a handsome, gentle, introverted, and shy doctor. He meets Lu Fanning, the bossy female president, by accident so she starts harassing him in a sweet way. Lu Fanning became Ling Rui's creditor through a scheme, and the two signed a contractual marriage. The funny thing is that Lu Fanning always wanted to borrow sperm to give birth to a child, and madly flirted with Ling Rui to marry him, and Ling Rui was teased. He was in a hurry and panicked, and then Ling Rui did the laundry and folded the kilt for Lu Fanning, served tea and water, and cooked and swept the floor. Who wouldn't want to marry such a loyal dog at home? The Legends 
Shu Kai's role as Li Chen Lan in Swagger is also cute. The most classic is that he was hooked by the Overlord and ridiculous overnight by Zhao Yao. In the play, Zhao Yao was drunk and began to smash Li Chen Lan frantically. On the first night, the little milk dog was taken away by the domineering female devil. The plot is really super funny. Li Chen Lan took the script for the heroine. Li Chen Lan is definitely a representative of the cute male protagonist. In the first episode, he was the puppy next to Swagger. But in the end, he became a domineering and cold master. He looked like a wolf, but deep down, he was a cute and loyal dog who was played by Swagger. This is also very sweet for the CP group with strong women and weak men. The Romance of Tiger and Rose Our male lead in this drama is also stupid and cute male protagonist who takes the heroine script because Han Shuo is so in love. Chen Xian Xian was concentrating on her career and Han Shuo was happy to make up her mind and love. The sentence, picture me, made netizens laugh out loud and even drew a heart on the table for me. Han Xiaojun, you are so cute. Han Shuo is also a beautiful man who feels good about himself. He thinks that it is impossible for Chen Xian Jian not to like him, and he doesn't even want mine in order to fall in love. So he has long forgotten the mission of going to Huayuan City. The supreme male protagonist is simply like the male protagonist. Shining for one thing. Zhang Wansen is also super cute. He is a gentle and innocent little milk dog, silently guarding Lin Beixing, known as Secret Love Ceiling. Cute and dumb, timid and brave, just a big silly dog. Being harassed by the domineering girl, Lin Beixing, she is calm on the surface, but she is shy and ecstatic. You can't refuse this sweet boy who is tolerant and affectionate. The Legend of Fei Wang Yibo plays as the ultimate stupid cute milk dog. He is unrestrained, smart, cute, handsome, and narcissistic. He chases our female lead all day. He is a little chatterbox in front of Zhao Fei, and he is funny and lovable. The lovely boy is proficient in all eight kinds of martial arts. He can do light work, talk about artillery, flirt with girls, and do wood carving. He can also write lyrics and ditties. He made glutinous rice chicken with her own hands, and Zhao Fei clapped her hands while fighting. Who wouldn't love such a sweet little puppy boyfriend? Which of these Chinese dramas with stupid but cute male leads is your favorite? And which do you think should be on this list? You can let us know in the comment section down below. See ya!